how to trade crypto on Radium using Phantom Wallet. So top right hand corner, click Connect Wallet and connect any wallet that you have. Most people on Solana will use Phantom. If you have Phantom Wallet on your phone, you can also just connect your phone wallet to this browser application. Go to Wallet Connect. It's going to give you a QR code. Go into your Phantom Wallet on your phone, scan the QR code. That links your phone wallet with the application on your browser, and you can sign transactions from your phone easily. Or if you have a browser extension, just connect here and we're connected. Now from here, we can go ahead and swap on Radium. You can also swap directly within Phantom Wallet if you want, but they use Radium or one of the other DEXs on Solana, and they put 85 basis points trading fees on top of that. So you shouldn't be paying that, just go directly to the DEX. So from here, we can uh, get our settings and uh, our priority in the way that we want. So settings here, slippage. This is the difference between the price quote that you get given and the actual price that's traded when the blockchain processes the trade. Slippage is basically allowing for a slightly worse trade by a certain amount. So let's say that uh, one soul, if you sold one soul, you'd get $243. What you're saying with slippage is that this price that you're getting quoted, you may get a worse trade by 0.5%. You can also up that to 1% if you want. And you, know, you might get a worse trade by 1%, up to 1%. And if it's over 1%, the, the trade will cancel out. The reason being is that during uh, high volatility periods or when you're trading very small coins, they can move a lot. And so you may need to allow for more slippage for the trade to go through because each trade is moving the price by quite a lot. If you allow for a very small amount of slippage, the trade may reject all the time. So if you're trading smaller coins, right, then you may need to up the slippage tolerance. Liquidity slippage tolerance as well, same thing, right? So if you look at this, it's the tolerance for changes in the quote base token deposit ratio, right? So you just have to set this at a level you're comfortable with. If the trades aren't going through, you have to up your slippage tolerances. Right, default Explorer, you can choose Soul Scan here. You don't have to change any of this stuff. Priority is something else on Solana as well. So the way that Solana works is that if you want your transaction to get priority other over transaction, uh, other transactions, then you have to pay a, a bribe, basically, like a fee to say, hey, I want to get my transaction in front of everyone else and I'm willing to pay for that. And so, uh, if you're again, if you're trading smaller coins or coins that move uh, very quickly or coins that for some reason, you know, the trade isn't going through, you can pay more to set your priority level. So if you go to Ultra, you can see right here, then the amount that you get charged for that transaction may go up because your transaction is paying for priority to get in front of other transactions. So again, you can set this as you want. If you're just trading larger coins like Sol USDC, you don't have to worry about this too much. If your transactions aren't going through, then you may have to set these priority to, uh, you know, targets much higher. And from here, uh, we can see this. This is slippage tolerance again, so you can change that around. And this just uh, changes the layout right here, so you can swap around how you watch it and if you want the uh, chart of the pair that you're trading as well. In order to use Radium and pay for transaction fees and any priority fees, we need to pay those fees in Sol. So you need some Sol tokens in your Phantom wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some on Binance here, uh, select coin, and I'm gonna withdraw it. So I've bought some, I'm gonna withdraw. I'm gonna withdraw to my address, so my Phantom wallet here, you can see this is my address up at the top where it says account one. Solana, that's my address here, so copy that. I've pasted that into the withdraw address, and I'm gonna withdraw it over the Solana network. That sends it out to my Phantom Wallet. So Binance, Bybit, anything else, wherever you, wherever you buy your crypto, buy some Sol. Make sure you can withdraw it to a blockchain wallet, which is your wallet. Uh, get that Sol in your account, and then you can use Radium and pay for transaction fees. If you want some deposit and trading bonuses on the exchanges I use, I'll link them below in the description. Now what we can do is choose the token that we wanna sell and the one we wanna buy. Solana can be used as value to sell and for transaction fees. So you need to make sure that there's always some Sol in your account to pay for the transaction fees and to pay for any further exchanges or sends that you wanna do in the future. So make sure there's always a little bit of Sol left over if you are using Sol. But you can sell from Sol, so you can sell Sol and then buy the other token. Now from here we need to choose the token, so click on this. And then you can just go down the list of tokens that uh, may be trading here. There's popular tokens up here. You can search by name. So like this, if there's a token that uh, you know the name of, you can search by name. You can also search by the contract address as well, which is important if you're trading coins that aren't very popular. Go over to CoinGecko. From right here, you can just search the name of the coin. This is a trusted source. So come down here to info, contract. This is the uh, contract of GTO style that I wanna buy. So I can go back into uh, Radium, then I can press this 
and then paste in the contract address. That's the contract address. I know that CoinGecko is pretty trusted, so that's the real token. Now, if you're searching for tokens that aren't on CoinGecko, go to Gecko Terminal. This is from CoinGecko as well. There are other screeners out there, Dex Screener, some others, right? But you can go to here and you can actually search Solana and then make sure you are searching by either market cap or volume. Higher volume coins are obviously the right coins that you want to be trading. If it's a coin that has the same name, but it has no volume, it might be a scam coin. So you can go to one of these coins right here and then scroll down and you should be able to see uh, the contract address for this token right here. And uh, so I can copy that and then I can go back to Radium and then I can paste that in and it should find this contract for me. Uh, so that's it right here. And I know that that is the token with the high volume because I've pasted in the contract address. So that's how you can find the tokens that you want. Now we can go ahead and swap the two tokens. So choose how much you want to sell of this token or how much you want to buy of this token. It's going to give you the exchange rate. You can see the info here of what's going to be happening. Press swap. It's going to go over to Phantom Wallet and just ask you to sign that transaction and confirm it. So you can confirm that. That should swap the two tokens for you. And then you can see the balances um, should have been exchanged in your account. So if you come up to your Phantom Wallet in the top right, this is your history right here. So you can see the swap taking place. And I swapped one just a second ago here as well. So that's the swap of the two tokens and it will swap one for the other.